Greetings, YouTube. In the Marvel Casino of Champions universe, it is uh, very easy to have a lot more uh, decent to bad pulls than good pulls slash wins. Basically, if you put it in a casino's terms, it's easier to break even or have a loss than it is to have a win. For everybody that pulls a six-star Corvus or Doctor Doom, 100 people pull a six-star Iron Package or Groot, or in case of uh, this particular image, Loki. Now, you can see this Loki is not awakened. There is nothing remarkable about him whatsoever, other than the fact that he is a pretty dang good counter against the Act uh, 5 final Ultron boss. But at the same time, this summoner was left with a really sucky dilemma that a lot of our fellow summoners are faced with to get to Thronebreaker. Because even though he had completed Act 6, he did not have a rank 3 6-star. And I do believe it was the Abyss where he pulled a tier 5 Mystic Catalyst, but he didn't have too many Mystic Champs at all and felt like his best one, somehow, believe it or not, was Loki. So he made a forum post about this ranting and then decided, by the way, amazing summoner name, Chimmy Changa 2108 He decided to take his deep-fried tortilla self and do something on paper that was really, really stupid. This is a do not try this at home, kids, disclaimer. He decided to take that unawakened Loki to rank 2 and then to rank 3 just to become a throne breaker. Now, if somebody was to ask me if that's a good idea, I would say no 100% of the time. And I still think that's the case. But this guy decided to do it because he felt like he was about to quit the game anyway because this rule was so stupid, so he might as well laugh in the face of Kabam and just go all risky on his account. Well, this was last week. So when the anniversary gifts came out as a new Thronebreaker, thanks to his Rank 3 Unawakened Loki, he received what all Thronebreakers received, or at least the ones who have received the gifts. I guess there could be some that haven't yet. Uh, he received 10,000 six-star shards. And so he was shaking his head and did th didn't think anything of it and ended up opening that six-star crystal, the free one from Kabam, after he claimed this. And he pulled this. He pulled the champion that he really wished he could have used his Mystic Tier 5 class catalyst on. And I'm sure there are going to be some people out there who say, well, is it really a win if you had the materials to take Dr. Doom to rank 3, but instead you took Loki and it's not like we have uh, rank down materials? Which reminds me, if, if there's one thing that Kabam could do the, for the community once a year, they would give everybody one rank down ticket of each class. Each star, I should say. A generic six, five, four, three, probably not two. We'll just say three stars through six stars. And if you knew that that was going to come into the game, you could totally do what this guy did. But Kabam has said quite authoritatively, is that a word? It is, it is now. Uh, that they're never going to bring back rank down tickets unless they rebalance champs. And we haven't seen that this year because Kabam is choosing to put out champions that aren't the worst but also aren't the best largely because then they don't have to rebalance them in either direction. So it, it just kind of makes it to where you end up almost forgetting they're in the game constantly. Like somebody like Terax, I forget he's in the game. Mole Man even, forgot he's in the game. Uh they're not they're not terrible by any means, but they're not Doctor Doom who you see in front of you. So Chimichanga, fed up with the game, ready to quit, took Loki to rank three. Not even awakened. Got 10,000 six-star shards. And now has six-star Doctor Doom. Probably can't take him to rank two anytime soon. But uh, it's an interesting story. And one that I do think overall is a victory for him. Though there are still some uh, aspects of it that you could consider a defeat. Especially when you consider that he really wishes he could have that tier 5 mystic catalyst back. Either way, this is the kind of uh, story that you're going to see from time to time because this is what summoners are having to do in order to become Thronebreaker and leave the new uncollected, a.k.a. Cavalier, behind. It sucks. If I was in charge of Kabam, I've said this before, I would have required people to become Thronebreaker to complete and have that title of both the Abyss and Act 6. That would have been my 
uh, silver lining, my middle ground of their plan. Because then you still have to technically acquire a tier five class catalyst because you have to complete the abyss, but you don't have to use it until you're ready. And that would have helped a lot of people not feel forced to make this decision. It's such an arbitrary requirement. And yet it is what it is, right? It's the requirement. They set the rules. We have to follow them. Well, congrats again to Chimmy Changa 2108 Can you believe this actually worked? That's going to be the title of this video. And I try when I can to avoid caps in my titles. But uh, in this case, I think it's warranted.